Washington, D.C. It's the capital of the United States of America. It's where history is made. And it's a place with a lot of different opinions. It's tense, it's chaotic, it's loud. But underneath it all, it's a city centered around pursuing liberty and justice for all. So today, it's all about exploring this beautiful, diverse city. Welcome to Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. We spontaneously, this week, we're like, let's go to D.C. We've got some time before we have to go to Iceland, and not to fill up our days, but we really wanted to go somewhere, and we kind of were itching for a major city. But the main motive here is that we have family here. My sister lives here. D.C.'s kind of funny because it's one of the few cities that I'm totally okay looking 100% like a tourist. Either you're in a business suit and you're very professional and you're just like marching down the street heading to work or you're a tourist. There's a lot of both here. <laughs> so we're gonna show you guys, we've never vlogged from here. In fact, we were here right before we started our vlog four, um, three and a half years ago. So we'll show you around. Let's go. The thing that brings people together is politics. Not really. Know that this is about the city of DC, the capital of the United States. Whether you're Democrat, Republican, we don't care. And don't put it in the comments below because nobody has changed anybody's mind with a YouTube comment. In DuPont Circle, there's a little independent bookstore called Kramer's. And it's not just the name that we're here. It's a nice little bookstore. They have a little cafe in there. They, I think they serve drinks and coffee. I mean, the name just really made it for us because, you know, our dog's name is Kramer. So we saw it and we said, we gotta get a picture with Kramer there. And it came highly recommended by my sister. She loves stopping in here. They have a great travel section too, like adventure books. They had some good National Geographic and Lonely Planet ones. I think we need coffee. It's getting hot, getting close to 90 right now, 90 degrees. We need some iced coffee. cities and DC, in some ways DC feels like it does feel like a major city because it is but then other ways it feels like a small town because you don't have these skyscrapers and there's a reason for that but it just it has a weird feel so part of me really loves it because it's got a lot of green open spaces like this and there's great trails for running and walking and just it's a beautifully laid out city and it is very historic on the flip side DC stresses me out to the max because everybody is very I shouldn't say everybody because that's a big statement but it's very uh, professional and it's very, everybody's very high achieving and it's very political and politics are like my least favorite thing in the entire world. So it kind of stresses me out. It's like the news station on 24 seven here in DC. <laughs> I hate that. Then you are here and there's this really cool, vibrant, diverse population here. There's people from all over the world. There's embassies from all over the world. There's just, it's this beautiful mix of everything. So there's the loud side of DC, which is politics. And then there's the really beautiful historic side and just this beautiful blend of cultures. It's an expensive city, but it's also, there's a lot of free stuff too, which kind of like, you know, balances it out, so. And you're never the only tourist. He's like, wait, what are you doing here? Buddy, calm down. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, 
We drove all this way to see you. <laughs> Obviously you don't know them, but my sister Jessica and her husband Taylor, they live in the DC area. We're visiting them. That's the primary reason we're here. And then just to be in DC, because it's been a while. So Jessica is the sister, and this is Taylor. And can I tell my fun fact? I, we've mentioned it before. I am one of three girls in the middle. We're all very close in age. We might as well be triplets. Jessica's my older sister. And then I have three brother-in-laws and all of them are named Taylor. That's my favorite little fact. <laughs> so I have two sisters, both of them marry guys named Taylor, and then Chris has one brother also named Taylor. What are the odds? It's a little weird. Right, Good Stuff Eatery, which is like a local chain here in the DC area. If you're looking for milkshakes and burgers and all that healthy food, we had multiple people say you have to go here. Holy smokes. This thing is huge. How am I gonna get in? Look at this. Oh my gosh. We got onion petals and french fries because, you know, we just need starch. This is the Obama burger. Can you show me the Obama burger? Mm. Lift that bun up. Okay. Is it mushroom? It's not very pretty looking, but it tastes really good. <laughs> this is an onion petal, not an onion ring. So when you're peeling an onion, you know there's layers. It's made of layers. This is like, a whole layer of it. Then they just peeled it all the way off the onion, so it's not sliced up like little onion rings or anything. A nice hefty bite of onion. I'd say the, the ratio of fried to onion is very nice. Now, I don't think these are gonna be worked into our daily diet because that would not do good things, but they are a nice treat. big into politics and I know there's more in DC than politics there's a lot of history and there's a lot of you know culture there's a lot of everything but one thing that DC really stands far above other major cities in America to me is the amount of green space open space parks nature spaces for being a major city the actual city the District of Columbia I'm not talking the Virginia or the Maryland side but like DC is about one quarter green space like parks nature open space whatever it's for enjoyment which is really cool I mean granted District of Columbia is not that major in size but the city itself is just it's so livable and there's just miles of trails in here there's road cycles going through there's trail running happening there's people reading by the river creek I think there's even a weight capping thing over here And then the green spaces like this, like Rock Creek Park, which are National Park Service lands, are the perfect little haven and a little getaway from the chaos that is Washington, D.C. I don't know that I ever see myself living in D.C. because it is a really stressful, tense-filled city. I feel like there's always something happening here. I mean, it's the capital of America. Anything controversial, I mean, there's going to be protests and voting. and I mean, there's always something. It's a very lively city in that regard. But then there's this space, and it feels like the perfect balancing act of what most people think of DC, and then there's this, which is the side of DC that I actually love. I come here, I'm like, I can maybe live in DC. And then we go back to the mall, and the Capitol, and the White House, and you see all the hordes of people, and I just, no, absolutely not. But this, this is nice. here in DC, but the cool thing is that all the restaurants in this section are all from Latin countries. So you have Venezuela, you have Peru, you have some Mexican food, you have pupusas from like Ecuador and Honduras. So if you're into Latin food, which we are very much, this place is for you. And it's hip and cool, so you can come in here and get some Venezuelan food and move right over to Peru, then you can get some Mexican tacos and then pupusas. So we're gonna have some fun here. So for dinner, we are at 
the Union Market area. And I say the area because there's Union Market, which is live and hopping right now. Looks like a good time. And then there's La Cuseca, which is more of like a Latin-inspired market. So there's uh, restaurants, there's a Panama, Panamamian, is that how you say it? A Panama coffee roaster, or coffee shop here. We settled on pupusas, and then Chris got a Venezuelan, ooh. I see cheese and some sort of bread, so I'm happy. It's nice to venture out of the Mexican taco genre for a bit. We got a cheese pupusa, a veggie pupusa, and chicken pupusa, and then this, the queso relato, arepa? Oh, it's an arepa, okay. I think I'm saying that right. But that is, Chris got the queso version because he knows me well, and it's legit just Gee, this thing is heavy. Have you felt this thing? It's, listen, watch. <laughs> it's so much cheese. That's comfort food. That's good. I probably should have a few more bites to really get a idea. I haven't had pupusas forever. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about the cheese. Every major city has diversity. Like there's pockets everywhere, but there's something about DC. It's this huge melting pot and you're able to kind of stumble into all of these different cultures and you have all these different embassies, consulates here. And so it's a really unique place in the world that you get to have this like mixture, this big melting pot of all these different cultures in our capital, which is really cool. My only thing is I feel, I feel like there's some cities that have bigger amounts of certain cultures. So I don't feel like there's an overwhelming presence of any one thing. But there's a little bit of everything and that's really cool. It's easier to tell some of the different cultures apart when you see them all side by side. So I don't know, I like that about DC. This morning we got up really early and we did sunrise at the Lincoln Memorial because it kind of comes up over behind the Washington Monument and the Capitol and just hits the Lincoln Memorial and it is so beautiful and I can't recommend it enough. You will definitely not be the only person there. We were most definitely not. It's beautiful. It's just completely worth the early morning wake up call. And then after that we hopped in the car and then drove to the other side of the mall to the Capitol. So we're on like the east side of the Capitol now. The west side is currently under construction, um, but the east side, there's no one here. We've had a couple of runners running by, but at 7.30, oh, there's a runner. <laughs> but at 7.30 in the morning, there's no one here. On, this is Saturday, so it's the weekend, maybe on a work day, I'm sure it's much busier, but 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday, we have the place to ourselves, and it's very quiet on a Saturday morning, so I would highly recommend sunrise at the Lincoln Memorial, and while you may want to enjoy being there, I'd say hop in the car and come over to this side because it's so quiet right now. You'll have the place to yourself. There's no one here. I mean, this part of DC when there's nobody around and it's quiet, it's really nice. And can we say this? I, we'll Man. probably say this on voiceover. Fun fact about DC. So most buildings in DC are not taller than the Capitol. The official rule now is that buildings cannot be more than 20 feet taller than the road is wide in front of them. So say the road is 100 feet wide, the building next to the road cannot be more than 120 feet tall. So it's a very pleasant major city. You don't have those towering buildings over you. It's just, it, I think it's it's great. There's, I love, I have moments where I really love DC and I have moments where I really dislike DC. Yeah, and this is one of those moments where we really like DC. Yeah, I wish we had time for more of like the museums this time. It's yeah. been a few, but it's been a while. All right, All right breakfast time. Let's go. 
For behind the scenes and extra content, you can head on over to our Patreon community. Otherwise, be sure to follow on Instagram or like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.